Hello everyone, my name is Randhir Yadav. I am practicing as a school counselor at Apex Public School, Burari, New Delhi. On this International Day Against Drug Abuse, I would like to talk about effects of drug abuse on overall well-being. First, let's understand what is drug abuse. Drug abuse and addiction, now both grouped as substance or drug use disorders, is a condition characterized by a self-destructive pattern of using a substance that leads to significant problems and distress, which may include tolerance to or withdrawal from the substance. Excessive use of psychoactive drugs such as alcohol, pain medications or illegal drugs, it can lead to physical and social or emotional harm. Now we'll see the effects of drugs on overall well-being in more detail and we'll see the short-term and long-term effects also. Short-term effects of uh, drugs are or any alcohol can be increased heart rate, changes in appetite, sleepless or ins sleeplessness or insomnia, changes in cognitive ability, loss of coordination. So these are the short term effects of drug abuse and other alcohol abuse. The long term effects are depression. It has been proven that long term use of uh, drugs can lead to depression, anxiety, panic disorders, increased aggression, hallucinations, etc. There are some other physical effects of drug abuse, which are as follows. The first one is cardiovascular disease. Stimulants such as cocaine and methamphetamines can damage the heart and blood vessels. The long term use of drugs can lead to artery disease and heart attack also. The next impact on physical health is the respiratory problems faced by or faced by the drugs that people smoke or inhale can damage the respiratory system and lead to chronic respiratory infections and disease. The drug abuse or the drug impacts the kidney. How? Kidney filters excess minerals and waste products from the blood. Heroin, ketamine and synthetic cannabinoids can cause kidney damage or kidney failure. We have another uh, damage on physical health that is liver damage. Chronic drug and alcohol use can damage the liver cells, leading to inflammation, scaring and even liver failure. Now we will see what are the treatments which can help the person or anyone going through this particular challenge. The first one is behavioral therapy. So it helps people build positive coping strategies and develop prob problem solving skills. Then we have group therapy, which gives people the chance to acknowledge, share and work through psychological aspects of recovery with a group of peers under professional guidance. Medications can help minimize withdrawal symptoms and the additional other medical care, such as vocational training and other resources that addresses problems associated with chronic drug abuse, such as mental health conditions, unemployment and medical conditions. I would request everyone, all of you to please come together and let's put an end and let's say no to drugs. Thank you.